Ramsey, this is Young Guru, and today we'd like to go over some of the sequence editing features of the MPC Renaissance. So before we get started, let's go over our transport. Our transport is mimicking the MPC 3000. We have the basic controls like stop, play, play start, which will start all the way from the beginning of the sequence. We have record, which will record over whatever we have, and record overdub, which will allow us to add on to whatever we have. We have a locate button, which will allow us to set up five different locate points that we can jump to in our song. We can move back according to our grid or forwards according to our grid. We can move back by bars or ahead by bars. And we can also hold locate and move back by events or to the start and end of the song. For editing notes, we have two tools. We have the pencil and we have the selector. With my pencil tool, I can draw in notes. I can also extend the range of these notes. I can use my selecting tool to move these notes. They'll move according to the grid, or I can override the grid by holding down shift and move however I like. I can group notes and again, move them according to the grid or use shift to move them freely. I can nudge these notes also with the four-way cursor on my computer. And again, according to the grid, or nudge by holding shift and override the grid. I can hold down the command button to make a copy of these notes. And I can use my delete key to delete these notes. I can also select these notes by hitting the pads. There are also extra functions available to you on the hardware. By hitting Sequence Edit, I get a pop-up page which allows me to edit my sequence how I want. I can insert blank bars. I can delete bars. I can copy bars, which will copy the whole sequence to another bar. Or I can copy events, which will allow me to select specific events to copy to the same track, to different tracks, or to different sequences. I can copy a whole sequence. I can transpose a sequence or I can erase or copy the whole track. Also on my hardware, I have an erase button. If my sequence is stopped and I hit the erase button, now I have a selection of things that I can do. I can set the range of where I want to affect. I can select erasing all of the notes. I can select specific notes to erase. Or I can erase everything except the notes which will allow us to keep the notes, but yet erase things like automation data, aftertouch, and things of that nature. If my sequence is playing, I can do a real-time erase, which will allow me to keep playing, but yet erase the notes that I don't want. 